It's amazing how many times people walk right by me and never see me just by staying motionless and quiet. People never look around. They look at the ground in front of them. They never look left and right. Kind of fun. So, pretty hot day today. It's supposed to be hazy, hot, and humid in the 90s. 80% humidity. I'm up here having lunch in the forest. I figured it was a good place to be. I'm not far off a major mountain bike trail near this pine forest, not far from my house. And uh, I've had a few people, a little bit of activity. I hear some people coming now. I'm just up off the trail, I don't know, 20 yards or so having lunch. So, we'll see if they see me. I see him now. There's still a ways out. No idea I was here. Here we go, there's some. Beautiful. I'm trying something new today. I've been after what's called Indian pipe, also known as ghost pipe. And uh, one of the cool things about this plant, by the way, it's a plant, it's not a fungus, it's not a mushroom, it's actually a perennial plant that grows on the edge or in and around pine forests. Well, the beautiful thing about this guy is it's a natural pain reliever. Uh, it's known as a, a nervine. And what that means is it deadens the nerve endings. It's extremely, extremely strong. Some doctors have actually prescribed it rather than aspirin or Advil or things like that. So you can make this yourself. It's super simple. All you need is some alcohol. Regular cheap vodka would work. But today I have with me in my haversack some 90 proof moonshine made from my brother-in-law. So what I'm gonna do here is quite simple. I'm just gonna grab a few of these plants, just, just the stem tops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch it off with my fingers and I'm gonna throw it inside this 90 proof alcohol. And you want clear alcohol, so you want vodka or moonshine or maybe gin would work. But uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm only harvesting the top half of these, these little herb plants. That way it is a renewable resource. You can come back here again next time and pick some more. So I'm just going to pick on a few of these guys. I don't want to take them all. Just a few from this plant. And luckily I have another plant nearby. Some of these are just coming up. Maybe, I don't know if that makes a difference. This is new to me. I have never tried this before. One of the beautiful things about being in the forest, you can learn something new almost every day. So, 
yeah I'll take one more off of this guy make sure I leave plenty so it can regenerate and uh, go search for some more so I've heard like I said this is new to me I've heard that after a while this stuff soaking and I'll go more I'll go into more about that once I get home I'll tell you how this thing is processed and everything but the uh, the alcohol will actually turn purple in color so that's kind of cool so uh, yeah let's go find some more of this stuff Okay, we'll just take a couple more of these. I have quite a few in there. Young ones, old ones. Not too old because when they get old they turn black, black, black. It's really kind of gross. So, there. That should be enough. Well, now all we gotta do is go home and process this stuff down and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, back home in the shop. So, you've got your collected ghost pipe, or Indian pipe, and your 80 proof alcohol, whether that be gin or vodka, or in my case, some homemade moonshine. And once this has been sitting for four to six weeks, it'll take on this kind of purple color, almost like purple Kool-Aid. I'm sure you can't see that from here, but maybe if I tip it just right, I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, once that's done, go in the kitchen, grab yourself a little measuring cup, and if you have one, a coffee filter, you know, throw that in there, take the contents of this, dump it in your co coffee filter and strain off all the extra ghost pipe. You're not going to need that anymore. So all you're left with is your tincture. So myself I like going to thrift stores and flea markets and finding these old timey medicine bottles they're pretty cool you know they're old when they don't have a screw top you know you have to use a cork <laughs> so I like these things you know there's a whole bunch of them you can find or you can go on Amazon and buy brand new ones you know if you do use these make sure you boil them rinse them go crazy cleaning them out because you don't know what's been in them before but anyway, so this is a little two ounce blue bottle. I take my tincture, take a little funnel, throw the funnel on the top, and just pour it in, fill the thing up. And yeah, you know, you've got these little, these little droppers. I like these because you only want to add a little bit to, uh, you know, water or tea or whatever you're going to put your tincture in. Make sure you only do a few drops at a time of this stuff. It's really potent. Um, you know, be careful. There's no directions, especially when you're using home remedies. So less is more. Start small and work your way up. You may only need one drop. Maybe you need three. Who knows? I'm learning too. So anyway, guys, that's just a quick video on how to make your own pain reliever out of Indian or ghost pipe at home. So hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.